watch them grow, perceive devote. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow. This month is a great month to make your mental health and your own personal emotional healing a priority. And for some, this may mean finally deciding to start seeing a therapist. And for this reason, I've partnered with BetterHelp to assist you guys in finding a therapist that's right for you. With all of the chaos, confusion, and uncertainty going on in the world right now, coupled with our own personal daily struggles, now is definitely a great time to talk to someone who can not just be a listening ear, but can also help you with the what, the hows, and the whys that you're experiencing what you're experiencing. So if you or someone you know and love is going through something right now and feels the need for a little more help, I stress that you guys take advantage of this resource. Hello Aquarius and welcome to your August. I should specify this because I'm putting out other stuff. This is your August soul session which would count as your uh, spirituality and personal growth reading. You know what I'm saying? And you guys have a love reading that's coming. I don't know when I'm going to post those. Um, I don't want to flood your timeline. I mean, I wasn't going to do them back to back, but I don't know. Maybe I might wait a couple of days or something. But anywho, welcome to your reading nonetheless. We're going to start with an overall energy from my favorite deck at the moment that of which is the star seed oracle and whatnot or whatever to get an overall energy for the theme of you guys month and then we're going to go ahead and jump right into the cards you know what i'm saying and whatnot or whatever i just jumped in talking to you like i know all of you in the event that you don't know me my name is princess india this is my channel nice to meet you welcome you know what i'm saying i love how my friends just start texting when i start working so the two cards that you have aquarius i don't know what i was about to say is are you serious Y'all really about to do this right now? That's what y'all doing? Oh, oh, so this is what we're doing today? Okay, moving right along. You guys have earthed. It says learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Then we have breath of the cosmos. And it says my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. And princess needs a little bit of lotion on her hands, but we're going to pretend like that's not happening, right? Why? Because I don't have lotion in my office. So don't talk about my ashy. I love how they just texting up a storm. So anywho, the overall energy that I'm seeing for you guys, Aquarius, for the month of August, um, this Earth card, when it came out for Scorpio last month, it was uh, super duper deep. But for those of you who have my woke book, you know exactly what it is that I mean. It's more or less what the whole theme of 2020 is about. Every year prior to this one, there's been a myriad of spiritual lessons, but it's been feeling kind of foggy. But this year, it's like karma, right? But not karma in the, you know, convoluted uh, Western society sense, meaning like, you know, catch back and karma being a B-I-T-C-H and things of the sort. But this is more or less... Um, Grounding yourself in your experience and realizing that every choice that you make and every action always has a consequence, whether that consequence be good or bad, but then it's really still not good or bad because it just is what's happening and we as humans are the only ones who ever make judgments of things. But that's neither here nor there, my friend. Moving right along. But what's most important about this, uh, Aquarius, is you guys tapping into that special ethereal alien thing you guys got going on there. And I don't mean that in a derogatory sense. It's a compliment. You know what I mean? And it's more or less about embodying that. It's you being the amazing ethereal being that you are, the whole thing, this whole concept of this human experience is about, which is remembering who it is that you really are and living that out in a body, which is pretty freaking dope, might I add. Now, looking at the uh, breath of the cosmos here, lets me know that there's an element of control that you guys are struggling with, meaning that your will and spirit's will are kind of... Uh, battling with each other now what would spirits will be spirits will is just for stuff to be you know what i mean like be its authentic self trees being trees and bears being bears and things of the sort and only thing that's being asked of you is for you to be a human you know with ethereal origins and things of the sort so this month is more or less going to be about um a tad bit of a spiritual battle but the whole purpose of it 
is teaching you how to surrender, my friend, so you can be great. When you come to the realization that everything that you've been resisting against your entire life has been your own greatness, it's an epic wake up call of epic proportions and whatnot or whatever. How do I have raccoon eyes? And I literally just started recording. <sighs> Damn, this Nola heat. Moving right along. First card you guys have is the Knight of Swords. This is challenged by the Ace of Pentacles. If I could get this glare to work with me. Past influence, you guys have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Your underlying energy is the Wheel of Fortuna. I'm really extra. Your above energy is the Ace of Swords. And then going forward into September, we have the King of Swans and Jitterers. So my wonderful Aquarius friends, I would say that coming from July into August, um, you guys may have been feeling some type of way. And by some type of way, I mean sad, you know, overcome with emotion, being a little melancholy, maybe a lot of melancholy and looking at things from a pessimistic sense. I feel this speaks very much to um, this dissension that I see in you guys' overall energy, which is more or less um, misinterpreting the experiences that you've gone through. It's more or less feeling at the will of life, if you will. But what I do see coming into August with this Knight of Swords, um, which is what I'm going to forewarn you about, is more or less switching from one gear to the next. So it's kind of being in this sad, kind of downtrodden type of thing going on here. But then it's like being tired of that. So you go from one extreme to the other, which is like going hard in the paint, not necessarily thinking things through, being a tad bit irrational, you know what I mean? Because it's a desire for a breakthrough. But with this Ace of Swords that's in you guys above energy, this is letting me know that this is coming for you anyway, and it's also coming with an opportunity. So biggest challenge this month is going to be for you guys to be able to see this. How are you going to see that? I'll tell you now. You have to find that middle road, my friend. With the underlying energy being the wheel of fortune, this is saying to me that you guys, and I've said this with someone before, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Gemini, somebody I did before. But I talked about... Um, those of you who've been with me for a while have heard me say this a bazillion times, but my is not is paradigm. When we're talking about manifestation, we're talking about like you calling something in and everything in the universe works in an order. So you first have to experience the is not, man, these raccoon eyes are really driving me mad. You have to first experience the is not before the is manifests, right? But a lot of times, more often than not, we have a tendency to get kind of lost in the is not, losing sight that we were calling in the is, right? So our vibration ends up aligning to this void, not realizing that the only purpose for that, vo that void being there was to call in or make space for the thing that we had called in initially. And that's the reason why it can seem sometimes that prayers go unanswered because they're never not answered. You know what I mean? We just kind of get lost in temporary things. We allow temporary feelings, temporary emotions, temporary situations, temporary people to take us off kilter and off balance from what it is that we're really supposed to be doing. So how it is you guys are compensating that is kind of going all the way to the extreme, you know what I mean? And that's not what you want to do because three cards here straight down the middle, which speak to your August, are telling me that all of these things are more or less being orchestrated in your benefit, right? It's just that the timing was a tad bit off. So the important thing is here is to know um, if you kind of go to this extreme, it can set you back. So the important thing is for you guys to be cognizant, for you guys to be aware, to not be irrational, to not jump to extremes. And when you take this opportunity to work with the energy um, that's working in your favor with this Wheel of Fortune, because it's just a cycle shift for you guys in so many words. And, you know, that can resemble a myriad of different things. It could be a life cycle. It could be... Um, a new journey that you're on, new job, new relationship, whatever. It could be a myriad of different things, but it's something that's being offered to you. But the whole thing is, in another sense, I feel with this too, is a lack thereof of trust. I feel that there's an opportunity that could fast track your progress that uh, may be presented to you guys this month. But the issue is going to be accepting it because your reluctance to accept it would be your lack thereof of trust for yourself as well as whoever it is that's offering it. 
But all in all, it's a mental breakthrough because I really feel like this is the perspective kind of thing for you all. I feel like I've been saying this in you guys daily, something similar along those lines. But another thing is, is to utilize wisdom going forward because with this King of Swords in the reverse, there is the potential, which is why I'm saying this in a sense of it being a forewarning. Um, I don't want to say squander it. You know what I mean? It's just more or less not approaching it in the right, well, I'm not even gonna say the right, like not approaching it in a vibration that would behoove you, Aquarius. It's more or less like I was saying in the beginning of the whole is not is thing. If you embody the is not, then you'll be going into the is with your vibration being is not, and it ends up being self sabotory in a sense because now it's not you working in your highest vibration where you're being strategic, you're you know being clear-minded, you're taking into account your past experiences, you have a handle on your emotions, you're implementing your self-control and things of the sort to take full advantage of this opportunity. It would more or less be so on guard, um, so not trusting of yourself, so not trusting of other people, so judgmental, um, trying to cut corners or take the easy way out in some way, shape, form, or fashion to where something that could grow into something magnanimous can end up feeling as if you squandered it, right? So the important thing for you guys this month is to slow down and to be cognizant and aware of what it is that you're doing, why you're doing it, what's happening around you, and being kind of clear of um, what's unfolding for you. And to do your very best, because I know it's not the easiest thing in America, to try to trust the process. You know what I mean? Because all of this is more or less a fear-based energy that I'm seeing. It's you guys being reactionary, you know? It's reacting out of fear, you know? In July, or the tail end of July, it's more or less feeling some type of way feeling kind of sad, feeling like stuff's not going to work out. And then in August, it's just switching to, I'm going to make it work out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you need like a marriage between those two extremes to kind of hit that sweet spot to get to where it is that you guys are trying to go. Not trying to control others or the situation. It's just living. <sighs> These records. But anyway, Aquarius, that's been your reading for um, August. I mean, one of them. I'm going to go to my website and Patreon and Vimeo and YouTube members and all that other kind of good stuff to do you guys extended. So if you're about that life, follow me over there. If not, I still love your freaking face and I will see you guys sooner than later. Peace and hair grease. Switching it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Later. <laughs>